Your boy is at the scale house in North Carolina, man. Uh, right here in Statesville. Got a chance to meet a great DOT officer. Uh, I didn't, I done my inspection. They're going to show you how you can do an inspection and get the ride and then something go wrong. Uh, I come up on Black Mountain and there was a pothole. I thought I kind of straddled it, but I guess I didn't. Well, the inside tire went in it and it, I didn't even know it blew out. It blew the uh, tire, but the tire didn't shred. It's just on the side. It's got a little hole in the side, inside wall and everything. Hold on, Miss Avery called her. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that, y'all. That was Avery calling, trying to get the uh, road vendor out here to me. And uh, pull it on the scale, and I'm sitting there, and I'm like, okay. And he came out, and uh, surely enough, he checked, and my inside tire, it did blow it out. But uh, like I said, I just thought I hit it, because, but it did. So thank God that it didn't shred. It's still in one piece. That's the reason why he, he said he came out. It looked like it, but when he came out, that's how he saw it. So thank God for that. Uh, great guy, great guy. I'm going to try to see if I can get a photo with him and everything. And uh, y'all, <laughs> like he said, each state is different on that. Uh, here in the Carolinas, uh, you can be arrested for it. You can be arrested uh, and uh, put out of service. Be put out of service until you can prove that everything going to work. So why go through that, y'all? I ain't gonna open up another can of worms on it, but uh, like I said, this is North Carolina, DOT. So right now he's doing a level level one inspection on me and stuff. And my, and my tire, uh, like I said, got a flat tire. So uh, other than that, we good. I break down, I'm sending somebody out. And would you believe I'm 25 miles from the, uh, from my customer. 25 miles from the customer. Stayed all night at the Knoxville yard. Y'all saw it in the previous video. Got up and done my pre-trip inspection and boom. <laughs> so never think you're too good to get stopped. Hey. Your boy school did. So hey, it's all good. Forward my logs. Uh, you do need to know how to do that because uh, you can get a ticket for that. You can cite you for that. So not having a card and not knowing how to operate your equipment. So why go through that, John? Why go through it? Okay. But like I said, other than that, let me finish up this here. And uh, he showed me, told me where the bathrooms was and everything, man. So tell you, boy, y'all say what you want to say about the DOT officer, but hey, I've never had a bad DOT officer in my whole trucking career. Even the one that stopped me when I got into it out in California wrote me a ticket for having the uh, green lenses behind the cab and everything. So it is what it is. That's your responsibility. Now, I could have stopped, but I didn't hear nothing, you know, so I didn't even hear nothing below. But like I said, it didn't shred. It ain't got but 20,000 pounds. That might be a reason, too, the reason why it didn't shred, because it's only 20,000 pounds on it and stuff. So God is good on that note. And everything. But like I said, other than that, he's doing the inspection on the side of me here. I'll flip the camera around and show you. There he is right there in the mirror. He's doing his inspection on me. Where he's writing up in the my logs. Uh, you got to send him your yard logs and everything. So forward him the logs to him. So he's looking over the uh, and I want to say all my pre-trips, post-trips gonna show at least 15 minutes and everything. Because uh, it takes longer than that, but at least you know that you can check your the most major things in an inspection with the uh, preacher and stuff. 15 minutes. You can do just about everything from under the hood all the way around. But if you want to go into depth, then you would have to get down. And, I see about 30 minutes. But like I said, teachers on, teachers on. But y'all fellas, be good, be safe. This is Boy Scooby Doo. I'll be back once we get through and everything and see if I can get a picture of it and everything, and uh, we'll go from there. We'll talk to you then. All right there, YouTube. <laughs> well, in 36 years, y'all, 36, being out on this road, this is, uh, inspection went clean, clean inspection. 
but I'm placed out of service because of a flat tire. <laughs> placed out of service because of a flat tire, and the cost of the fine is $30. Uh, $30 is what it costs. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Out of service fine citation. So your boy is placed out of service, really, until uh, a record driver, I mean the tire man get here. Once he get here, then uh, I will uh, be uh, free to go. But yeah, your boy school in 36 years, y'all. And got placed out of service, man. Ain't that a trip? Oof. Place your boy out of service. I, I don't know. I should have stopped after I hit that pothole, but like I said, I didn't hear nothing go boom or nothing, so I didn't, uh, I didn't, I didn't hear nothing go boom. But, uh, Mm. Thirty dollars, and uh, here's a clip of the DOT officer boys uh, that done the inspection on me. Great guy, great guy, man. And like I said, all these, the DOT officers are out here to do their job and go home to their family. They're not out here to harass nobody. They looking at it from the point that hey, these trucks running up and down the highway in their city or the area they patrol, they just want the vehicle to be up to par. They got a family out here. How would you feel if you get a phone call from a family member saying, hey, uh, semi-truck just tire come off and went through the windshield and uh, took the life of your, a loved one? How would you feel getting that call? They don't want to get that call. There's enough calls they got to get when they got to go to another person's family that's involved with an 18-wheeler or a semi-truck out here, a commercial vehicle. So give them, give them, work with them, y'all. All you got to do is work with them. The faster you do it, right now. He done all he done a, a level one on me. Only thing he found was that tire was blown out. And it really it's just a it's a hole on the inside of the sidewall. Right there by where the rim meets it. That's where there's a hole at. So it blew out there. And uh like you said, uh I'm just gonna place you out of service until you get it fixed. The technician when he come, he'll sign off on it. The repair will sign off on your copy, the facility and the date, and uh you send it to your company. Once you send it to the company, that's it. They'll do it from there. But uh, they're here to do a job just like we're here to do a job. We all got to work together, y'all. So stop giving these DOT officers a hard time, okay? Just like I said, we got to wing out the uh, the bad drivers. Well, hey, we got to wing out some of the bad DOT officers. But most of them are here because they get upset because they see stuff that a driver, all the driver got to do is get it repaired, and they won't. They would not get the truck repaired. So that, that would upset me too. But like I said, man, uh, thanks to uh, thanks to the officer uh, for uh, the inspection. I mean, man, it, everything went good. Everything went good. Boys. Mr. Boy, uh, what is it? Sergeant Boys. Great job, sir. Great job. But like I said, here's a picture of the Sergeant Boy besides his, beside his cruiser. And all I'm doing now is sitting here waiting on the uh, tow truck, the uh, tire guy to get here. So here he is right here, Sergeant Boyd. Good day, YouTube. The repair truck just got here. Uh, he's going to put two tires on it, two new tires on it. So, hey, it is what it is there, buddy. So you're going to put two new ones on and everything. Uh, I had asked the shop to put some tires on here, but they, they said they got to get down below the 230 seconds. But... I looked at that tire and looked at that tire and they, they checked them, so uh, they checked them, but hey, there's one way to get some tires put on, I guess, when they, when they go out on you, and uh, that's what didn't happen, the, uh, the tires went out, so hey, they put two new ones on, so as soon as we get through, we're head on up the road 25 miles and drop that, we got to come back to Hickory. Uh, North Carolina, uh, 40 miles back, and pick up a load out of there, and it's going to Tupelo, and got to go past the scale on that side. So maybe that scale master on that side is looking at me, so he might be a little leaning on me, I guess. But uh, it's all good. I'm ready. Like I said, I 
I make sure my truck is up to par. That had that happened when I hit that. I tried to miss that pothole, but it was two lanes coming down Black Mountain. One nothing I could do. So that's something that's out of your control right there. Uh, did it? Did it pop when it give a loud bang uh, sound when it blew? No, it didn't. But that just go to show you. Now I could have stopped over in the rest area. You probably checked enough thing, but. I didn't hear nothing blow, so you know, you're boom, 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 boom. Okay, roll on. But uh, like I said, just got to do that, man. That's your job to check. But like I said, another DOT officer, great DOT officer. That's one, two, three. That's about six of mine have ran into, man, that uh, get out here and they're here to do a job. And like I said, you show them respect, they give you respect. Respect is earned, okay? It's earned. You got to give respect in order to receive it. And, I've never ran into a bad DOT officer at all. But like I said, this is the first time I've been put out of service in 36 years, but I really wouldn't call it put out of service, but it is because you can't move the truck because it's got a blowout. Well, $30 is what it costs for the uh, out of service and everything. But that, that's, that's good, that's good. That's nothing but a blessing, man. But like I said, he's here getting the tire put on. We'll head on down, so I'll hit you up when we get down to the uh, receiver and everything. All right, this is your boy Scoot. YouTube. We made it here to the, uh, we decided to stop tonight right here before the scale in uh, Winston-Salem. Uh, we're going to Raleigh for in the morning to deliver a load of uh, forklift batteries. This is what we got on. It's a hazmat load, so we picked it up, and that's where we headed to. So we're here at the Petro. We're going to get us some meat at the uh, uh, AHA. We're going to get us some meat at the AHA. Uh -huh. But, uh, each and everyone that's going in this trip here. So uh, thanks again to Sergeant uh, uh, Boyles. Thanks again to Sergeant Boyles and everything for the inspection and keep being the person you are. I know it's going to get some drivers out here that's going to drive you crazy, but hey, keep doing what you're doing, fella. Great job, great job. But uh, other than that, I'm going to call it quits here and uh, I'm going to shut it down. Uh, you ought to hear and eat. Uh, let's see, I scaled the load, so I ain't number 55,000 pounds. Yeah. 55,000 pounds. 11 on my drive, on my steers, 21 on my drives, and 22 on the trailers. So, but each and every one, once again, be careful, be safe, keep a good load, but you never think you do and say. And the to keep stupid doing my wife in your prayer. We'll do the same piece that one of you all. We love you. We thank God for you. And uh, we'll holler at you uh, in the morning when we can ready to leave. Talk to you, man.